guys, what's up? This is going to be my video on the top 20 best Stadia tweaks for the iPad for the year of 2010. The Stadia source that you'll need to get in order to get all these Stadia packages that I list in this video for free is stadia.exalize.com and the next Stadia source that you'll need to add in order to get all these Stadia packages for free is repo.insanelyi.com now in this video I'll be listing uh, them all these Cydia tweaks from number one all the way to 20 starting with the first one now the first one will be the best and most useful Cydia tweak and the and the last one which would be number 20 uh, will be the uh, least use uh, not the best Cydia tweak but uh, it does it is a little bit useful now the first uh, city of tweak in this video is folder enhancer. What folder enhancer allows you to do is at extend the use of your native folders on the iPad. So then you simply can uh, tap on a folder and then you can have folder within a folder within a folder and so on. Now you can have up to 320 icons within one folder and you can this folder enhancer does support many custom layouts including iconoclasm and uh, many other springboard layouts. Uh, you can also have your folders on your dock uh, so that you can quickly launch it instead of scrolling through your home screen pages and you also can uh, hide the folder name and many other features that you can change in the settings tab. Now the next Cydia tweak in this video is pull to refresh for safari so with pull to refresh for safari you simply uh, can open up your safari web browser and then once uh, safari is open uh, it will go to the page and then you can just uh, scroll to the top of the page and then it says release to refresh and once you release the page it simply refreshes the page instead of uh, tapping on the button where the address bar is. Now the next Cydia tweak in this video is scrolling board. What scrolling board allows you to do is have scrolling folders so that you can vertically scroll through your folders and also uh, you can scroll through your dock. Now uh, you do get all your multitasking features including portrait uh, landscape and portrait orientation a lock button and you do have your brightness your iPod controls and the volume uh, slider for the iPod app and you also do have many you can also download Insidia SB settings toggles to put on the your scrolling uh, board uh, so that you can have you can easily change these uh, features now you can change edge data and all of those different ones to uh, so that you don't have to slide through SB settings and then change it from there. Now the next city tweak in this video is Infinity Board. What Infinity Board allows you to do is scroll through vertically scroll through your uh, sp through your home screen page and then you simply uh, can add as many icons as you want through on one page. Now the next Cydia tweak in this video is full force. What full force allows you to do is it scales like for example if you have a an iPhone app on your iPad and it doesn't fit through on the screen so you can either just uh, have the regular iPhone size uh, app on your iPad or you can just double uh, the size of it and then it will be more pixelated but with full force, you simply can uh, uh, make it to the size of the iPad and it's not pixelated at all and it looks like it's made for the iPad. Now the next city tweak in this video is Retina Pad. Now what Retina Pad allows you to do is once you go into your settings, uh, then you go to Retina Pad right there. Uh, you see that it has many of the iPhone user applications 
and then you simply can tap on all-in-one game box for example and then once you go into there you can tap on it and then it says to enter retina pad uh, you have to uh, stop using it from the switcher bar so then you uh, simply tap on that and then you go into all-in-one game box and then as you can see it isn't pixelated at all on the iPad depending on the game that you play and then this works for 99% of the games uh, on the iPad and then as you can see right there it isn't as pixelated as it was before if you were to use it on the I regular iPhone mode. Now the next Cydia tweak in this video is Infinity Folders. What Infinity Folders does is it allows you to add an infinite number of icons within one folder. Now the next Cydia tweak in this video is Stay Opened. What this allows you to do is when you go into the App Store and then you uh, then you download an app from the App Store, then you simply click on, on it, then it starts installing. It will usually automatically go to the app after closing out of the App Store. But with this, it keeps the App Store open so that it doesn't come, uh, do that all the time. And you can add, you can download more apps at once without keep on going into uh, the App Store. Now, the next video tweak in this video is grab the next city tweak in this video is gravity board what gravity board allows you to do is uh it adds gravity to your springboard so i assign the activation method to double tapping the status bar and when you double tap the status bar the icons move and then you simply can play with the icons and flick them around the screen now as you can see right there and also, while you're doing this, you simply can launch an app, say for example, settings, and then you can exit out of the app. Now, this is very, it isn't too useful, but it's a very cool uh, Cydia tweak. Now, the next Cydia tweak in this video is Switcher Mod. What Switcher Mod allows you to do is it basically uh, changes the app switcher so that you already have a little uh, minus button to minus the uh, apps so for example the mail app if you tap on the minus right there it will minus it will exit out all of those apps uh, following that row if you set it to it so then it is a very useful multitasking mod and it also does have a settings Uh, it does have a settings tab, and then once you go into the settings tab, you'll see that you can, uh, it has many activation methods, it has a uh, choose active app, close button style, uh, you can change it to red minus, for example, and you can exit app style, and then you can change it to hidden, or something like that. Now the next Cydia tweak in this video is Bitefont. What Bitefont allows you to do uh, is once you, uh, it basically changes the system font on your device. So for example, as you can see, the system font on my device is completely changed. So when we uh, go to the lock screen, as you can see right there, the clock is changed uh, from uh, the regular standard text and at the bottom where it says slide to unlock it also is changed now for example when you go into Cydia now once you go into Cydia you'll see the text right there And it shows the text right there. And you can also uh, download Bitefont from Cydia.
Now to get the fonts for Byte font, you simply go search Byte font, and then it shows Byte fonts pack one. In this video is G Power Pro. What G Power Pro allows you to do is change slide to power off and slide to reboot and slide to respring. It basically adds more, uh, it adds these two toggles so that you can easily slide to reboot, slide to respring instead of just sliding to power off. Now, the next tweak in this video is no spot. What no spot does is it just simply stops uh, having the spotlight. Now the next Cydia tweak is multi-icon mover. So when you put your uh, device into wiggle mode and then you simply tap on the right of the icon, you'll see a little check mark on the icon. And then you can move them to a different page if you would like. And then you hit the home button. And then you'll see those new uh, new apps in that page. Now the next video tweak in this video is synchronicity. What synchronicity allows you to do is it while you are syncing your device, usually you'll say slide to cancel and then it will stop your syncing. But while you're syncing your device, you can uh, simply uh, Keep on using your device while you're syncing. Now, the next video tweak is gridlock. What gridlock allows you to do is place your icons anywhere that you would like on your screen. Now, this is very useful uh, depending on how you, you use your device, and it just changes the layout of the device. Now, the next video tweak is covert. What Covert does is it adds private browsing in Safari so that it doesn't record the cookies or the history uh, while you're searching on the Safari. Now the next Cydia tweak in this video is Safari Download Manager. So when you open up Safari Download Manager, you'll see a little tab right there. And you can also download things in Safari including music and uh, so on. Now the next Cydia tweak is Loctopus. What Loctopus does is when you simply hold on an icon you'll see that there's a little lock there so uh, for example uh, you see that there's a little lock there where Evernote is and then you can exit out of it and when you tap on it it will prompt you for a password and then the default password when you first get this app is password and then, once you type in the password, it will then launch the app after. Now, uh, those. Now, the next video tweak in this video is Lock Info. What Lock Info does is it adds your calendar, your mail, your notifications, your missed calls, your uh, voicemails, and much more into this one combination so that you uh, can just look at it from your home screen uh, for, so that you can just look at it from your lock screen and take a quick glance at it. So this is a very useful Cydia tweak and uh, and it can be And it just integrates everything into one to just make it very useful. Now the next Cydia tweak in this video is Quick Lock 2. What Quick Lock 2 allows you to do is uh, once you are using Quick Lock 2, you simply tap on the application, then it uh, locks your device just in, uh, so that you don't use your power button instead. Now those are the best top 20 best Cydia tweaks for the iPad and the best of 2010. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe. Uh, please like this video and thanks for watching.